Hey y'all, it's Huffy over here at Huffy Sales Cars. Just wanted to introduce you to the Bronco Sport. I did a video on this one to see if the car seats fit in there. Uh, and I had a customer uh, message me and they said, hey, listen, you did a great job seeing if the car seats fit in there, but show me the rest of the car. So I did pick out a base here. Um, I, this video is gonna be kind of weird because I shot it backwards. So I did the ride and drive first. And uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm gonna go over the car. So this quick. is the base unit, but it does have some options added to it. So these are accessories. What I like about the Bronco is the Bronco has some really cool accessories and they have something for everybody. So we have some wheels, we have some tires you see. It does have mud flaps on it as well, but the, the rack is really cool up front. If you like camping and stuff like that, you can put a lot of your gear up there. You got the cross rails. There's just a lot of options there with that rack up there. There's also a bike rack you can get that goes across those cross rails. So if you like to bike, hike, whatever you like to do, uh, this this Bronco will get you there. It's four wheel drive, it's awesome. It's just a really fun little car to drive. It is a 1.5 liter and I kind of go over that in the next uh, section. But the 1.5 liter does have plenty of power. It's got 181 horsepower. So you, sh you should be fine with that. Um, it does have the camera in the front because it has the co-pilot. So you're gonna have some, some safety features on it, standard, which is cool. So instead of Ford making an option, safety is standard. So you can see you got the blind spot monitoring. I also mentioned that in the next video, but I wanna make sure I hit on it because it's really important that you have the safety features right off the bat. Something we did on this one is we also blacked out the taillights so they're tinted. Uh, we did it tint the windows, so that's something that doesn't come with standard, but it is on there now. Uh, you can see the mud flaps. The back space is cool. You can do glass, so you can just pop open the glass and get in there. So if you got a dog or something and you just kind of want to like let them hang out and not run off, that's cool. You got a 12 volt port back here. You got some light back here as well. You can turn on, the seats do fold down. So if you open the door, you got a lot of room. And then also check this out. You've got a backup camera on there as well. So that's on the standard package. This one has the additional mats added. So these are the Bronco all weather mats. They're really, really neat. Uh, you can see that the seats are different a little bit because they can recline a little bit. You've got the seats fold down, the headrests come out. And I apologize, I did say that they recline a little bit. They do not. Um, they were just, one was latched and one wasn't. So the seat belt was in the way, see? So, but you got plenty of room for storage back there. If you're using it as an everyday vehicle, it's it's a great vehicle for every day as well. There's plenty of room in the back seat. I'm six foot four. So if you haven't seen my videos before, I'm six four. I got the seat all the way back in the front. I'm gonna get in there real quick. Tight, but doable. Plenty of headroom. That's always what I look for because I hate it when I have no leg room and then I have to crouch my head too. Hurts my neck, don't like it. Um, if somebody was shorter in the front seat, I would I would have even more room, but I can I can fit in here. It's tight, but it's comfortable. And then you can see the glove box here. Let me get in the front seat so you can see some of the cool stuff up there. And once again, I did choose the base model because it comes with a lot of features. So there's a lot of stuff you might not even care about on the other ones. So you've got all your power goodies. You got your power door locks. This one does have a key. If you get the big band, it comes with a push button start. Um, this one has the manual seat as well. Might not care about that, might. If you, if you do, great. Uh, this one's got the automatic headlights as well. That's a standard feature. You got the tilt steering, telescopic steering. So the steering wheel is in, out, up, down. You can see the lift, lift gates open, so it's, it's got a message up here. But you got some cool features on this. You can put your speed up there. Notice that your temperature's in there and your compass as well. So we're facing to the southeast. You can pull your radio up. You can put your phone up there. You can just do, you can have a little Bronco up there if that's what you want. So you got all kinds of stuff. You got, these are all your options you can do. And then it does have the auto start feature. So um, the auto stop feature, what it does is when you come to a stoplight, if you're not familiar with that feature, it shuts off. So that does it to save gas. However, on this one, it has the option to turn it off. So that, like I said, there's nothing wrong with the screen. That's just, this is a protective coating that's on here. 
that we leave on there until our customers purchase the car just to keep the screen nice and, and scratch free from people's fingernails and stuff. So you've got all your uh, controls down here. The difference on the Big Ben too is it does have a digital control there. So it has a little digital control instead of um, just the regular old fan. But it's not, not dual climate control. You have to go to the outer banks to get that. So uh, you got a little shelf there. That's really neat. You can put stuff in there. Uh, the goat modes, they're really cool. You can switch it from normal. You got eco mode, you got sport mode, slippery and sand. So cool feature there. And if you didn't know, GOAT stands for go over anything. So sunglass holder. So for, you know, this SUV, just so you know, I mean, it's really affordable. Like without the accessories, it starts at 28 grand. And, uh, you know, here we do a lot of accessories to our vehicles because a lot of people want them. So we do that, but I mean, Look at the starting price. I mean, this is really Ford saying, hey, listen, we're gonna make cars affordable for people again. So you're not spending tons and tons of money because a lot of people's SUVs are through the roof right now. Uh, this one is a really neat SUV. It's got a lot of cool features to it. It's just a really cool car. And it's really fun to drive. If you haven't driven one, I totally recommend it. Uh, it does have that 1.5, the 2.0 is available and that'll have a lot more horsepower. Um, so. If you don't think the 1.5 is going to get it done for you, you can go to the 2.5, but or the 2.0. I'm sorry, but this is just a really neat, neat vehicle. I really like these. I, I saw a bunch of them. I mean, obviously they, they disappear pretty quick. One other feature I wanted to go over real quick. You got your electronic parking brake, but right here that's an auto hold, so it, it'll keep you from rolling back on a hill. And then I also wanted to show you when you start up your car. I just got to get out for a second and lock it up. And then when we go to get in, see the rocks and stuff that roll down the hill? It's really neat. So just a cool little feature. Just want to show you guys real quick. And then if, uh, if you have the digital screen in the middle, the full digital, it comes up on there too. So just a neat, neat little thing. And then the Bronco comes up on it. So it's just kind of saying hi to you. So a common question I get is, does the three, lead, the three cylinder 1.5 liter have enough power? The answer is absolutely. It's got 181 horsepower. It does have quite a bit of pickup. It does have the turbo as well. So. I'm just gonna kind of do a little ride and drive. We're gonna jump on the highway real quick. And we'll so go we're just kind of driving in town real quick, getting to the highway. Um, wanted to kind of just show you around on the Ford Bronco Sport. That's what this is. So we've got a nice touch screen, by the way, it comes with the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, that red line. That's just a protector that we leave on there until our customers purchase it. That way all the fingerprints and everything comes off. So there's nothing wrong with the screen or the camera that I'm shooting this with. Now you got a nice little gauge cluster. Now on the upper models, you'll get like a full digital in the middle of those two gauges as well. So if you're gonna go with an Outer Banks, which I'll show you when we get back to the dealership. Now uh, you got cruise control, and uh, right here's your buttons for the screen so you can change things in the middle. So one thing that I know my wife likes that I've heard a lot of customers ask about lately is the miles per hour. Yes, you can do the miles per hour in the center. One of the reasons I chose the base to show you guys is because it does come with a lot of features. So if you look out here, you've got blind spot monitoring on the mirror as well. So that's awesome because blind spot monitoring is just cool. It's got the driver assistance as well. The, the Copilot 360 is on this vehicle. It's got both of the USB ports, the new and the old USB-C and the USB. It's got goat modes. Goat modes are cool. Go over anything, that's what that stands for. And if you look right here, these are your different goat modes. So you got sport, you got eco, you got slippery, and sand. So this is a four wheel drive vehicle. We're gonna get it in sport mode. We'll just leave it in normal mode, actually. So we, we left it in normal mode. 
and we're just gonna take it on the highway so you can kind of see the pickup. And this one does have wheels and tires on it too, so it's gonna be a little heavier than normal. So we're just getting on the ramp. You can see the, the speed limit's 50 where I'm at. It, it got up there no problem, and we're on a hill too, so that's good. Because that's what everybody worries about when they're on the highway. Does it get on the highway? Or is it just gonna kinda just make a lot of noise and not go anywhere? So yes, it's got plenty of power. It's very smooth. You hear a little bit of the engine, but nothing bad. And we're just kind of cruising here. You can hear it's its not really loud either. I mean, you do hear the tires because you'll see when I get out and do the walk around that uh, the tires are, are pretty knobby on this thing. So I'm kind of shooting this video backwards. Usually I do the walk around first. This time I'm doing the drive first just to kind of get it out of the way because I was close to the highway when I went to the gas station. So there's a lot of construction here, so I'm trying to be careful and keep my eyes on the road. But we'll, see, we'll do like a little pickup at the end here because I'm gonna get off on the next exit and it's after the construction, so I'm just I'm kinda punch it so you can see kind of what the passing is like on the highway but right now we're just in a heavy construction zone so we're doing about 45 miles an hour as soon as we get out I'm hoping this truck in front of me goes because I want to go so we're out of the construction now the truck in front of me is not going but we're gonna speed up so you can see kind of what the passing's like. No problem passing. And then since we did that, I'll get off on the next exit because I don't want to drive all crazy. But we'll go down to the next exit. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off so I can focus on driving. And then as soon as we get back, I'll go through the overview of the outside. Okay, so we're back on the lot and I wanted to go show you a big bend real quick. So basically, you see, you do have the climate control, okay? So you just have a temperature climate control. So that's different. The push button start with the lock and unlock, okay? So other than that, I mean, it's not a whole lot different than the base. It's really just a few features. It's not a whole lot different in price. So the push button starts with the big one. Um, this one, see those are the factory wheels. We also take those and powder coat them as well. And then I do have, I do have an Outer Banks in stock. It's rare that I even have one. So I wanted to show you that one real quick. The Outer Banks is, is quite an upgrade. So you're getting a lot with the Outer Banks. You're getting different wheels. This is the Outer Banks package. And then if you look in the interior, the interior is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It's got that brown, brown and black, and then it's got like a little cloth in the middle. It's got the Bronco symbol in there, really nice. It's got the dual climate control, big old screen. See the big screen in the middle I was talking about in the other video. So you got something going on there. You got stars shooting across it. So this one does have quite a bit of an upgrade to it. It's 36,000. So one thing you'll notice, it's got remote start, okay? And then you got power seat on this side. Power seat on this side. So, and then you have the B&O sound system. That's a nice sound system. If you haven't heard it, it'll blow your eardrums out. Uh, and then you got the uh, wireless charging as well. So it does have some really nice upgrades to it. There's the push button start. So if you're looking for one of these, just so you know the differences because it is kind of confusing. They've got a little bit different packages. There, we had a different one too, and I can't remember the name of it, but it was the top package. It lasted about 27 minutes here. So um, check them out. If you want one, call me. I've been getting them here and there, but we only have three in stock as you can see. 
and it, the average time of these in stock is about three days. I had seven two days ago. So uh, you can see we sold four of them in two days. These are just a really popular ticket item right now. So give me a call and we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, you got any comments, you want me to shoot a video on something, hit me up. If it's a Ford, I'll shoot it for you. If it's not a Ford, I, I still shoot it for you. If I've got a used one in stock, I shoot it for you. Um, we did the ST video, that was a used one because we can't get a new one. So uh, we have we have quite a bit of stuff here. You can see behind me. If, if you see something and you're like, hey man, I want to see if there's three car seats can fit in that, I'll go grab it real quick. I'll put my three car seats in there. So uh, give me a call. Puffy Sells Cars, 918-859-0807 in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'll take care of you. I want to get you in and out. Let's have some fun in the process. Have a good day. Like and subscribe. See you later.